Is the base done? Oh my gosh. That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oops. I'm really taking one for the team here. Not at all trying to cover up the fact that some of the projects I'm working on took way longer time than anticipated. Not at all. Not trying to get another banger doing the exact same thing. With this extruder that apparently allows you to 3D print chocolate. Today we are 3D printing clay. And away Here we go! <laughs> all right, all right, here we go, here we go. Oh my man, do you remember this? We are no strangers of working with paste extruders. This one I used to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So uh, we are pretty much semi-professionals if I say so myself. This one works pretty much the same way. I bet some of you, probably a lot of you are thinking, you know, what, what in the world is this? There is a piston that is capable of moving in a downwards fashion and squeezes out whatever substance you have in this pipe by the help of this stepper motor that I literally just ripped out of my 3D printer. These gears makes the eight millimeter threaded rod move up and down. And uh, that was also controlling the, the piston. A very clever design, mostly because I didn't design it, this guy did. So thank you very much for making this awesome paste extruder. We'll take this, put on a 3D printer and start making stuff. <laughs> I was just kidding, it's not that heavy. I chose to use this massive printer because I figured it would be the easiest way of mounting this humongous thing. It also has a magnetic mounting plate for the for the extruder which is really simple so I just made a bracket mount. As you can see this just holds together with a clamp and I also took the liberty to print a small nozzle. I'm not sure you can see that but it's a 1.5 millimeter nozzle and it just goes on the end of this extruder and hopefully we'll be able to extrude some clay through this small nozzle. That's a little sketchy but might work. Yeah, this working is about as likely as me finding a girlfriend. Oh, okay, that's just too thick. So this means we got two options. Either we make the nozzle bigger or we can make the clay softer, more liquid-like. We got a new nozzle, four millimeters, much bigger. Outside the box thinking at its finest. Nice. I got these flowers from a grandma, but I didn't have a nice enough vase to put them in. So I figured we could print one. You know it's 2019 when someone says they're gonna print a vase using actual clay.
That's incredible. It does seem to be working, but we have some motor problems. It seems like the motor is just a hair too weak in order to rotate the wheel. Because if I help it just a little bit, it continues no problem. So let's, uh, let's change that stepper motor to a bigger one. You do know I'm a fan of shortcuts, so I'm just gonna up the voltage ever so slightly. We may have gone a little too much voltage. I think it's working. Oh yeah, sure. Doesn't look like at all. I'm starting to think the soap may have something to do with this. That was a big chunk of clay and I really don't know where the remaining 900 grams went. But I'm saying that's semi-successful. We got some figuring out to do. Oh, very nice, Simon. You managed to make the least useful... How am I not working for NASA? You know, I was mixing these colors, just wishing for it to be a cascade of interfering colors. And what did we get? Vomit green? I, I seem to constantly encounter the problem between, well, it's a balance between a substance that easily flows and a substance that doesn't easily flow. Uh, okay, I guess oobleck is one of those, but it doesn't apply here anyways. In gorilla language, solids block, liquids non-stack. The pure clay that I thought would work with the 4mm nozzle because it's it's so wide didn't. We added soap to make the clay softer and that did work but still the flow was uneven. The cornstarch and the conditioner was a desperate attempt that did, did semi work but again I made it a little too thick and it couldn't squeeze it out. I made it a little soft and now it just droops. It just never ends. I got some new pretty funny t-shirts if you want to check them out. Great way to support the channel as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye. I recently received the new Creality Sierra 10S Max and it's quickly stepping up to be the printer that I use all the time. In fact, I printed all the parts of the paste extruder on this very printer. And my question to you is, what would you like to see in that review? Would you like to see more about the electronics inside the printer? Would you like me to print something very specific or test a certain filament? Or do you want all of it? Leave a comment down below because I'm probably working on this right now.